Hello everybody, it's John. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, some Google features that are very useful for students. Um, one that I like to use in class uh, with the students is Google Translate, which is under this grid. If you're um, at the Google main screen, they have this grid and you can find other apps that they have. Under the More screen is Google Translate. And I have many students uh, from Somalia who struggle with English and some are working on the GED. So this is the Google Translate page. If we set this to English and we'll say Somali is a recent addition to the Google Translation family. It's not as, um, the services in Somali are not as good as in other languages. Um, Arabic, for instance, you can speak Arabic and Google can um, transcribe what you say and um, it can speak Arabic words so you can hear what they sound like. Um, so it wor also works the same way for English. So students who are learning English can type in a word like let's say um, the word inseparable came up in class and we were talking about it and my student typed this in on her screen and um, looked at the word in Somali and um, what what you can do uh, is click on this save to phrasebook and it will put it in a phrasebook over here we can look at that phrasebook I've been putting some other words in here to to show how this works um, so I was putting words in in both um, Somali and in Arabic and many of the speakers from uh, Somalia also know Arabic um, so this student did and she said she was um, equally fluent in both so this was a good thing for her and then some words she didn't know how to say and English spelling does not is not a fair representation of the pronunciation but if you press this speaker button inseparable inseparable that student can try to pronounce the word that way um, there's also a dictation feature if they click on the microphone they can try to say it back and see if Google can transcribe the same word that they said. Um, but to make a word list, all they do is click on this gold star and um, it will be saved into a list of words that is their personal study list. So I've shown this to speakers of Chinese and Russian um, just to try and get them um, interested in uh, saving making a word list like this that they can study from. And it's a very useful feature. They can also access it from their phones. And then it's easy to remove a word. If they've learned this word, they can just um, select it and uh, throw it away. So very uh, useful feature for students learning English and especially people studying for the GED.